Ahlan everyone, welcome to another episode of the Elementary Teachings in Hebrew 6. Last time, we talked about repentance. We defined repentance as changing the way we think, and more importantly, the way we live. We learned that repentance is more than just being sorry for our sins. True repentance requires action. When we repent, we change the way we live to be obedient to the teachings of Christ. Today, we're going to be looking at elementary teaching number two, faith. Many people use the word faith to describe someone's life. For example, he is a man of faith or she is a woman of faith. This saying usually implies that the person believes in God. But let's stop for a moment. James 2.19 says, You believe that God is one. You do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. Demons believe in God and they shudder. Obviously, we wouldn't describe demons as being faithful or having faith. Here's another scripture. This one's from the very words of Jesus himself. Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. He who does the will of my Father in heaven. So just saying that God is God or that Jesus is the Son of God is not real faith. Much like repentance, faith requires action. Faith requires us doing what God commands us to do. To get a better understanding of the word faith, let's look at one of the best examples of faith in the Bible. His name is Abraham. But before I tell you about Abraham, I want to make something absolutely clear, and that is we are saved by grace. Ephesians 2 verse 8 says, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. We do not earn God's salvation through our works, but rather, God freely gives us his salvation through his Son, Jesus Christ. But just because we're saved by God's grace, this does not excuse us from doing God's work and being obedient to his teachings. So, now that we have that cleared up, let's talk about Abraham. In Genesis 15, God appears to Abraham, or Abram as he's called at the time, and God gives him a blessing. Genesis 15 verse 5, God says to Abraham, Look now toward heaven, and count the stars if you are able to number them. So shall your descendants be. In the next verse, we are told that Abraham believed in God, and the Lord accounted it to him as righteousness. So God considers Abraham as righteous the very moment that Abraham believes in God's promise to him. But that's not where Abraham's story ends. Genesis 22 gives us the best example of Abraham's faith in God. In Genesis 22, God tests Abraham's faith. God instructs Abraham to take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains which I will tell you. So Abraham obeys God and takes his son Isaac along with two young men from his house and goes to the place that God tells him. Now this is where things get very interesting. In Genesis 22 verse 5, Abraham says to the two young men, Stay here with the donkey, the lad, Isaac, and I will go over there to worship, and we will come back to you. Did you catch that? We will come back to you. If Abraham's about to sacrifice his only son, why would he say, we will come back to you? Hebrews 11 verse 17 says, By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, concluding that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead. Abraham was so confident in God's promise that he trusted God would bring Isaac back from the dead. And that's exactly what the Bible defines as faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says that faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things unseen. Later in Genesis 22, Abraham is stopped from sacrificing Isaac. And God says to Abraham, Because you have not withheld your son, your only son, 
blessing, I will bless you. I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven. In your seed, all the nations of the earth will be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Abraham's blessing came from having faith and trust in what God promised and obeying his word. This is why Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Because faith is the act of obeying the teachings of God and his Son, Jesus Christ. Speaking of Jesus, there are some amazing parallels between this story of Abraham and Jesus himself. For example, Abraham had only one true son, Isaac. God only has one true son, Jesus. Abraham was to offer his only son, Isaac, as sacrifice. God did offer his only son, Jesus, as sacrifice for us. Isaac carried the wood that he would be offered on. Jesus carried the cross that he would be offered on. Abraham was certain his son would come back from the dead. God did raise his son up from the dead. When it comes to faith, we shouldn't just say that Jesus is Lord. We should live in a way that shows he is Lord by obeying his teachings. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be making more content. If you'd like to support me financially in my ministry, please click on the link in the description. And until next time, Salam alaikum.